All right, you're going to go to where I had the spot declare the array of words. You're going to put in string game equals, and then you have a curly bracket, Java comma, JavaScript comma, Python comma, Ruby comma, COBOL. This is creating an array of strings named game. Each one of these is at a specific spot in the array. Java is at spot zero, JavaScript is at spot one, Python is at spot two, Ruby is at spot three, and COBOL is at spot four. We've created another variable called answer key, which I initialized to zero. It's going to hold a number between zero and four that will reference this array. So I work with those in setup because I only want the answer to run once per game. I have answer key equals int random zero comma game dot length. And the reason that I do it this way with game dot length is because if we add more answers to the array, we don't have to reprogram this line of code. So we will get something between those numbers. And then in void draw, I've added a spot that I've labeled testing right above my other text displays where I have text game answer key indent 200. So I'm showing just the word that is at the point that for the index that was selected by the random. Let's try it a few times. So we've got Python, Java, JavaScript, Python again, Java again, COBOL. So it does seem to be randomly selecting all of those numbers. So we've now got our word that we can work with. In the next step, we're going to break that word into an array of letters that we can work with.